if you are looking for deliverance, for God to deliver you, allow him to deliver you from your character. Every character has a God. Every character, every behavioral pattern has a God. That is why Jesus will point them and say that you liars, for, for you are after your father, Satan, who first lied. So every wrong character has a father who produced it. Every good character comes from God. So many of you are trying to portray a certain lifestyle and defending yourself. No. He said that the Christians will go through troubles and he begins to explain why they will go through troubles. Some of them will betray their friends. Some of them will be disobedient to their parents. Some of them will, will be proud. Some of them will be boastful. He said this is the reason why. They will go to church but they won't believe anything they hear. Matthew 16. Peter asked Jesus, you won't die. Jesus says, Satan, get thee away from me. For you separate not the things that be of God, but that which be of man. That means anybody that thinks like a natural man is not different from Satan. Satan is the father of all our natural tendencies. God is the father of our spiritual tendencies. So we have the fruit of the spirit. It comes from the father. We have the works of the flesh. It comes from Satan. So anybody that was out of carnality, the Bible says unto this person is unto death. That means his father, we can trace his source to the devil. You walk by the fruit of the spirit and we can trace your source. The character you are portraying will give power to the kind of God that must rule you. So there are some of you praying for deliverance, yet a character is sponsoring the God that is tormenting you. A man was mad and it took 6,000 demons to be coordinating for him to be mad. The Bible says after the demons left, he sat down and heard the word of God in his fr right frame of mind. In his right frame of mind. So when devils left, another came. When the devils were there, they brought confused frame of mind. When they left and another spirit of God came, he brought a sound. Your character will determine what is ruling you. For every lie you tell, a spirit is invited. The Bible says they will not think immorality to be anything. For every sex you, you commit, eh, sexual immorality you commit, you are inviting a spirit to legally come and stay because you are, you are replicating his character. The Bible says that after God made man, he breathed into man. A man became a living soul, active, out of a God's spirit. Every action is a breath of a God. Some of you, eh, all the problems you are going through is simple. Usubaimbi. Usubaimbi nama to me be a quiet. Teneye deliver we na. Usubaimbi besa apinaba. Ide biabe deliver. There are many people enjoying the glory of God. It's as simple as they have fashioned their character in the way of the Spirit. As many as are led by the Spirit, they are the sons of God. There is a curse that follows every character. And there is a blessing that follows some character. There is a way that somebody slaps you and you replicate with peace. There is a blessing attached to the peace. Every nature of the spirit of God carries a, a special blessing that it comes with. And every character of the devil also carries a special curse that it moves with. Jesus told them in John chapter 8, he says that anyone that sins is a servant of sin. So you just don't sin to go scot free. You become a born servant of a spirit. There are many of you eh, and so there is there is a character of unfaithfulness it's inside God can't trust you with a billion because when he trusted you with a thousand you were not faithful something is fighting your breakthrough open up and accept it and allow God to help you within three months amen I'm telling you, there are certain mindsets that does not suit breakthroughs. The Bible talks of our warfare. It says that for the weapon of our warfare are not carnal. 
He said, but they are mighty through Christ in the pulling down of struggle, casting down imagination and any high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of God. Who would have thought that common imaginations are high things? One of the things I don't joke with are thoughts. What you want to be able to see what you don't know is that you are just being attacked by a spirit. The moment you buy into that thought, if the person is innocent, you lose something. The weapon of our warfare is simple. Be casting down imaginations. Keep casting imagination. Right now, some of you are standing here. There is an imagination going on in your head. He said, this is your warfare. Keep casting it down. And keep pulling down stronghold. Go and find the Greek meaning of stronghold. There. Stronghold means fortified ideas. When some to me, the idea be too hard to No, actually, fortified. No, we see who get. We yet the name free hard to move that. You obey, obey, be bien, you obey. Back at your work, back. Obey, dear, to me, say, you're not even sure anybody. No, actually, hard to move. No, there are two, three. So long as that thought is there, you will be subject to a problem. That that thought is is God. There are some of you eh, a certain mindset inside. It keeps telling you you are sick. As long as that stronghold is there, you have given a spirit the right to make you sick. Listen, when that mindset is there, it translates into actions. Because that mindset is there, it's a big problem. In the world, I didn't even catch you say you're sorry straight. Chiaohu kakra. Yeah, you say, yeah, you say. Now who be sorry? Who sorry straight? Pa, who be boche? Tishi ahu, tishi ahu kaka. I didn't know, I didn't know, I didn't know any problem. Me bomb pay him out. Every satanic thought, every satanic character sponsoring problems around your life. Blood. The Bible says, as a man thinking, so you see, so you see. Guard your heart. With all diligence, for out of it are the issues, the reality of your life will come from that heart. And that is the heart Satan is building strongholds and building imaginations and has released high things that exalt themselves above the knowledge of God. So if God says by his stripes you are healed, the high thing inside of you say you don't get healed like that. Go hospital. He said, whose, who, whose report have you believed? Ah. And unto whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? And to obey to me who Bible, who and who report? I said, major report today. Men can say, and report today. But in fact, Bible also in turn today. Combine the two. One will swallow the other. Ah. And I know over time, Bible will swallow report. Amen. Some of you, it's ingratitude. Yeah. Some of you, is unfaithfulness. Some of you, is cheating. Too much lust. Yeah. Some of you, is pride. Some of you, is uncontrollable lying. Some of you, it is gossiping. Some of you, it is witchcraft. I'm telling you, jealousy. The Bible says there are people who are haters of those who do good. Do you know what it means? Everyone doing good, the Bible said, it is the Lord that has anointed the person. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth and he went about doing good. So everybody that does good is under the inspiration of the spirit. If you attack that good, you are attacking the spirit. The moment you attack the spirit behind the good I'm doing, forget about that good. This is why many people will never see the glory of God. Out of jealousy, they start attacking good. And they don't know. That is why when they called Jesus, that he was using Belzebub to cast out devils. He said, if you, if you speak against the Father, be forgiven. If you kick against the Son, be forgiven. But if you kick against the Spirit, because I am casting out devils by the Spirit, anything the Spirit is inspiring me to do, that you speak against, you are in trouble. He won't forgive you. This is why he won't forgive you. He will never use you in that dimension. You admire prophetic. You are attacking prophets. 
You admire the healing grace. You are attacking healers. You admire the teaching grace. You are attacking teachers. You want your ministry to be big. You are attacking those whose ministries are big. Sir, if the Holy Ghost is behind it, you have cancelled your name. So one wrong character can cancel your name from such a good that can come to you. There are many things that the, the church is going through that we think is the devil, but some are us. We have allowed the devil to control us and perilous times and challenges are coming upon us. One of the things I love to do is to honor. I honor anyhow. I give anyhow. If somebody is closer to me, they think that I'm a fool. But all that I'm telling the Holy Ghost that is helping the person is that I love what you are doing. If you finish with the person, come to me. I love it. I love it. Amen.